Okay, so here we have basically a very simple template of Bootstrap. Uh, actually, it includes the uh, necessary links and scripts for uh, running the Bootstrap. And it's uh, you can actually download it from the main page of Bootstrap. So what I want to do here basically is actually I want to create two divs here. So first div and a text inside the div would be sample text A and let me copy this and B. So in the page we have only two divs and let's refresh the page. This is what we have and there is no sign of bootstrap on any CSS or styling because we are not using uh, the bootstrap here. But it would be a great idea if I add some uh, background to this div actually so we can see the boundaries of the div. Actually we can see and the, con the containers border. So BG, for example, info. And about these colors, actually, you can find these colors in uh, background in background section in Bootstrap documentation. You can search it in Google, for example. But uh, there is a couple of colors here we can use. And for example, I'm going to use BG info for this class and also, for example, class BG warning for this class. Let me refresh the page again and see what happens. So this is a two divs and we can see the borders or the edge of the container or the div. And the, the borders are pretty obvious. So the difference between margin and uh, padding would be recognizable. So uh, let me add some padding here. So you can add padding and margin with CSS or doing styling by yourself. But uh, actually, it will be much more easier to do it with bootstrap. And you can do it with P and dash the amount of padding you want to add, for example, 5 pixel. And I'm going to refresh the page and see this is padding we have in CSS. So what does it mean? Uh, the padding here is that means that you want to have a space between the element inside a div and the borders of the div itself. But what is but what about margin? So let's add some margin to the second div to see to understand the difference. If I want to have margin if I refer to refresh the page, uh, you can see that here we get the same result as the, as the first div. But the point here is that margin doesn't relate it to the space between the element and the borders. Actually, it's about the whole container, about the whole div we have here, and its distance to the parent container or parent element, which is here body. So with margin, we can have a space between the borders of the tag or elements we are in with the parent element. But in contrast, in padding, everything happens inside the container or the elements. So we want to have this uh, insider text here has a space from the outer edge of the container or its div actually. So that's the whole point of padding and margin and they have their own use cases and we don't want to talk about them right now. But I think it's it's enough for jumping into gutters and explain it and see what we can do with gutters. Gutters in Bootstrap actually uh, are not something more than padding and margin. And simply the spaces between columns are called gutters in uh, Bootstrap. But actually it makes things uh, easier for you. It makes life easier 
and but you can do it all also by using some padding and margin and it's not in something really difficult that you can't do but it really fast forward technique to reach uh, the thing you want uh, with bootstrap but uh, to understand it what gutters are actually uh, it's better to show it to you uh, okay so let me copy this example here and I'm gonna paste it here and let me refresh the page here I have so basically I have two columns each column has its own padding and also you can see there is a space between these two columns here so to understand it in depth it would be better if I remove all these uh, classes here for example I'm gonna get rid of uh, this gutter here actually using gutter in uh, bootstrap you use GX uh, which means gutter in in horizontal direction if you want to use gutter in all direction you can use G uh, it's true for padding and margin as well for example in the last example we used P and M alone uh, but if you want to apply padding or margin in horizontal or vertical direction you can just add X or Y to say that you want it you want it in X direction or in Y direction so here the container itself has padding in X in uh, horizontal direction so if I remove this and also if I remove gutter here if I refresh it as you can see the space between these two columns is less than before basically it should be removed but the point here is that bootstrap itself uses go uh, default gutters so if you want to completely get rid of gutters here so you just need to say uh, g0 and if I refresh you can see there's no sign of a space here between these two columns so actually this is all the point of gutters here and gutters actually all spaces between these two columns to make it really simple so for example uh, if you have to uh, call him uh, if I change this background for example to info and this to warning let me refresh it here you can see if I don't use and let me get rid of this border here okay let me refresh the page and now there is no sign of borders anymore also let me to change the background of second div as well you can see uh, in some cases it's not really readable and clear for users and it, it's not obvious that these are actually two separate columns so to make it really a beautiful and more understandable and more clear you need to actually it would be a good practice to leave a break here between these two columns so the best way to do it is actually use gutter so I'm gonna use GX for example 2 here and just refresh the page so with this nice distance between these two columns we have more readable content okay I've talked about basics about gutters uh, I encourage you to read all the other stuff though uh, to you know have a more in-depth understanding of what gutters are for instance uh, here it says that uh, to avoid any problem if you have a big if you want to use a big gutter uh, it's better to actually use some padding for the container as well
or also we can use uh, overflow hidden class to avoid this problem it happens in some cases uh, it, it didn't happen in our case actually we didn't use any overflow hidden or uh, padding at all uh, we have also vertical gutters actually we can have a space between two uh, columns vertically aligned and also we have a combination of horizontal and vertical gutters and the point here is that actually why we use uh, gutters is that uh, you know you can do some padding and margin to to have this space here between these columns but to be honest it, it it's simpler to use gutters because if you want to have this space if you have a lot of columns uh, defining this uh, spaces here is really difficult because you need to add padding to create something like this you need to add padding to each column and you you need to do it for every single column to make this space make this distance here happen so uh, but in case of gutters you need only to define it in the row and not the columns so it's much more easier to do it with gutters and you have also row columns gutters uh, I talked about it right now and actually you can have all sorts of gutters without uh, without needing to do anything with columns and also we can have you can have no gutters with actually defining G zero so in last versions for example in bootstrap 4 we have uh, actually we have no gutters class but in bootstrap 5 uh, if we don't want to have gutters we simply say that G dash zero here like this and the space between columns will be disappeared and that's it for gutters I hope you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe just support us to continue this work have a good time see you bye bye